Yeah. Hey, Smoke, thanks for talking with us uh, tonight. I was wondering if you could just kind of assess the defense's performance from Saturday. I know y'all y'all didn't want to give up that many points, but then at the end there, y'all obviously made a stop when it counted. What was kind of your vantage point of what y'all did on Saturday? I mean, we really just focus on going out doing our job. I feel like uh, a lot of people uh, are skeptical about our defense, but I feel like if we can go out and just everybody focus on their job, do their job, play their gap, play their man, I feel like we have a great defense. Uh, it just comes down to, like, the effort. Uh, that's one thing about our defense. We always play with great effort, physicality. We just uh, continue to build on whatever we're doing good that week into the next week. That's all. Next question is Jason Caldwell. Smoke, you came in with, with Zacoby. What have you seen out of him in terms of not only his play, but stepping up in terms of a leadership role, especially with KJ out? Um, Zacoby, uh, he, he was ready for it. I mean, there's no doubt about it that he was ready for it when KJ went down. I feel like he he, he was ready for that moment all his life. Uh, his first, our freshman year, we came in together. Uh, we always been close. Uh, I always knew he was a guy that I can trust. When we get on the field, he's going to do his job. He's going to play as hard as he can every snap. So it was no question when KJ went down, I knew he was going to step up and take that leadership role that we needed. Thanks, Smoke. Question from Brian Matthews. Hey, Smoke. Thanks for speaking to us. Uh, just want to ask you about um, the defensive line. Coach Malzahn said a couple of times this week that um, he really wants them to, to work on getting more pressure uh, to help the secondary out. What would that mean to you to see the defense put a little bit more pressure on quarterback? I mean, it would mean a lot for me. I mean, um, they're doing the best they can right now. I feel like there's a lot of more guys um, that is unproven. I feel like they're going to shock a lot of people in these upcoming weeks. I feel like we, they've been practicing very hard every week. Um, they just got to get the rhythm of things. We got a, a lot of young guys up in that uh, front four. So once they just get the rhythm of things, just get in that flow of how they how the ACC moves, that would be perfect for us. Um, it's it's just, for them to get pressure, that will help, that'd help us a lot. I mean, at the end of the day, Coach tell us all the time, I mean, play every snap like it's coming to you. As a quick follow-up, Smoke, I know you've shown in the past, even as a freshman, that you've got that pass rushing ability. Is that something we may see, see from you in the future? I mean, it is, uh, it is whatever Coach put on the game plan. I feel like we're going to go out and execute. Uh, if he has me doing it, I mean, I'm fine with it. But if he don't, I'm just going to do my job. That's the main thing that this defense got to focus on is doing their job. So, I'm just prepared for anything. Thank you. Next question is from Gianna Hahn. Hey, Smoke. What have you seen out of the younger linebackers, and how close do you think they are to being ready to help during game time? I mean, with the SEC, you're going to learn fast because uh, once you get thrown in that fire, like I did my freshman year, you don't have no choice but to learn. So I feel like they're progression every week. Uh, Coach T. Will is doing a great job with developing those guys like you always have. I just feel like um, they just got to get on the field and see how it moves, see how it flows, get the rhythm of things, like I said, and that'll be fine. Next question's from Jordan Hill. Smoke, and uh, getting ready for South Carolina, what sort of stood out to you about their offense? I mean, uh, they got a pretty good running back. He run the ball very hard, um, and that's with the SEC, so we're used to it. Um, they got pretty good receivers uh, on the outside, inside. I mean – there's nothing we haven't seen, but at the end of the day, we just got, got to go out and do our job. Their quarterback is pretty good. Um, he's uh, on film. He's pretty uh, smart with the ball. Um, at the end of the day, like I said, we just got to go out and do what our defense do, and that's play physical and uh, physical and play our defense. They, uh, they've done a really good job as far as scoring in the red zone. Just in general, what's the challenge like on defense trying to stop a team that's really good in the red zone? Uh, first thing we got to do up front is just knock them back. Um, just can't get an uh, immediate push. Um, just knock them back and just basically everybody play your gap, play your man, and have great eyes, and we'll win it down. That's all. Thanks. Next, we'll go to Jake Weiss. Hey, Smoke. Uh, I just wanted to ask about earlier today, Coach Malzahn said uh, Damio was going to practice. Uh, this was his first practice. How do you feel like he did? Um, if Coach talked about it, I feel like um, at the end of the day, what Coach says, that's what we're going to go. I feel like he had a great practice today. Um, stepped in, moving well, so I feel like he'll be ready to go. Next, back to Nathan King. Hey, Smoke. Hey, question about Colby Wooden. When did you kind of see that light, you know, flick on for him to become, 
you know, an SEC caliber defensive lineman like he has this season? What have you kind of seen out of his progression from his first year now to his second year? I mean, his work ethic, his work, work ethic is very uh, tough. I mean, he's always been hard on himself. So um, I just feel like OG is doing a great job with developing him and just letting him know, like, hey, man, he's the SEC. You got to go out and, and play your best every single snap because I know that because he know that person in front of him is going to try to do his best every snap. So it's, it's basically going on, like, play every snap like, like it's your last. And I feel like those guys and Kobe Wooden is doing a great job of doing that. He's made kind of some plays over the last few weeks. He obviously had a sack against Arkansas. Do you feel like his confidence is starting to grow and he's kind of getting a little bit more of a mojo on the D-line? Yes, his confidence is very is growing very uh, – every day in practice. Um, I see he's getting more looser uh, with in practice. So, I feel like he'll have a breakout uh, game very soon. Thank you, Smoke. Okay. Next question is Tom Green. Hey, Smoke. When, when you're in practice or you're on the sideline on Saturday or even – watching film the next day and you see JJ Pegues take a snap and spin by a guy or hurdle a guy. What's going through your mind when you see someone that size doing that so effortlessly? Man, oh man, that boy is special. That boy is going to be very special for us. I feel like um, he's a freak athlete to be his size. He can run. I mean, he can make moves. He can make people miss. And I just, I just love the way he competes, man. He go out every day practice and competes. No matter whoever, whoever he's going against, he's going to compete. And that's what I like about him. I know it's normally the Wildcat package, but do you guys have a special nickname for it when he's back there? I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know what they call it, but it works. Next question is from Gianna Hahn. Hey, Smoke. So after watching film of how you guys performed against Arkansas and then starting to prepare for South Carolina, what specific things are you guys working on as a secondary? I mean, it's very obvious. Uh, we just got to go out and play. I do our job, play our gap, stop and run. Uh, so that's basically, we, uh, we're doing a great job. We uh, stand together uh, as a team, no matter what. Uh, I feel like we're getting closer and closer every week. So I feel like we're going to eventually go out and play our best game. We have time for a few more. Um, Nathan King. Hey, Smoke, I know this was a few weeks ago, but, you know, you're, when you got ejected against Georgia, all your teammates talked about how brutal that was and how they really missed you kind of quarterbacking the defense back there. How much do you pride yourself on being that leader and being a communicator there with Jamie and on the back end of the defense? I mean, it's a, it's a huge responsibility for me because uh, coming in my freshman year, uh, I didn't start as a freshman, but I knew – I had to prepare like I was a starter. So uh, by me doing that since my freshman year, it just came natural to me. So once I once I got the opportunity to be the leader of the defense and and uh, the quarterback everything, I was ready for. It. And I feel like a lot of guys feed off of that, and it's just it's just who I am. Thanks, Smoke. Okay. Next question is Josh Vitale. Hey, Smoke. Have, have road trips changed at all with, with COVID etiquette or is, is traveling or being in the hotel before a game different this year than it was in years past? Yeah, it's a lot different. Um, keep Try to keep everybody spread out, uh, not not close together. Um, there's a lot of things that the uh, Auburn staff does to keep us healthy and safe uh, from this COVID, and I feel like they're doing a great job with it. And a question from Jordan Hill. Smoke, uh, going back to last season, you guys have lost four of your last five away from home. Uh, what's the challenge like of playing on the road? And, and uh, you know, what is it going to take this weekend to kind of change that? I mean, we just got to go out and don't worry about what the other team's doing. Uh, we just got to focus on us. Uh, don't worry about what the fans saying. Just go out and play ball, man. It's, that's what it comes down to at the end of the day. Uh, go out, play your assignment, play your technique, and just play ball. All right, Smoke, thank you very much. Right. Appreciate it, appreciate it. And we'll reset and we'll have uh, Seth Williams here in a minute. Okay, Seth, can you hear me all right? Yeah, I hear you. Okay, very good. Anybody has questions for Seth, if you'll put them in the chat and we'll get started. All right, Jason Caldwell, go ahead and lead us off. Seth, what have you seen from from the young guys at wide receiver? Uh, like you know, Xavier, Kobe, Javarius, all those guys have have actually played a lot the last couple of weeks. How have you seen them continue to develop, and how important is that for you guys as an offense? 
Uh, they're, I've seen that they really talented. They're not an ordinary group of freshmen. They can get in there and get their work done. When we um, when we flash and shed and they'll blow, they can come in and it's like they never miss a beat. How important is that to have those guys ready to go? Yeah, it's it definitely important because like if we like if anything happens to one of us, it's good to know that they can come in and just fill the spot in, and like they know what to do and we can count on them. Next question is Tom Green. Hey Seth, I just asked Smoke about this, but when when you saw JJ Piggies hurdle that guy last weekend, what what was going through your mind when you saw that? I didn't think he'd get up like that. I knew he was smooth. I knew he had smooth feet, but I didn't know he'd get up like that. He moves moves super smooth to be three hundred pounds. What what do you guys call that package with him in there? Uh, we ain't got a name for it. We just it's wildcat package. Next question is Jordan Hill. Seth, South Carolina has one of the best third down defenses. Um, what has stood out to you in getting ready for their defense, and what are the things you guys have to do to extend drives on Saturday? Just convert on third downs. You know, we just got to execute. Execution has been the main focus this week, and we know, like, we've been struggling to execute. We just got to do the little things to get us done. Next, we'll go to Nathan King. Hey, Seth. I just wanted to ask how you're feeling. I know Gus said you got kind of dinged up against Georgia. What what kind of went on there, and, and how are you feeling this week? It's just the, the injury. and nothing too serious. I'm good. I'm back normal now, so I'm ready to go. I'm ready for South Carolina. So we'll go to Gianna Hahn. Hey, Seth. Um, I was just wondering how much of the potential of your passing offense do you think you guys have shown so far, and how much more is there for us to see? Uh, we got a lot of potential. We um, we still got some some things to work on. We're not all the way there yet, but it's just like the sky's the limit. We always talk about it all the time, and like it just like go back to execution. When we execute, we can get things done, and we just lacking execution right now. So we just know we got to do that, and we'll be fine. What do you think those uh, key things are that you have to work on? Just just meshing together. Just still getting the flow of things. Just still early in the season. A lot of things like. Happen. We just got to mesh together. That's all it is. Okay. Next, we'll go to Josh Vitale. Hey, Seth, we've, been, we've seen you be the, the go to receiver in this offense a lot. Um, you know, Saturday, what's it like watching Anthony Schwartz go off for 10 catches and 100 yards? It's good. You know, some like no flash. And like, he had it in him all the time. Like, it was the first 100 yard game, but I knew it was going to come. Like, it, it could have happened last year, the year before last. It's just like, He's special, like, like he definitely can do it. He can do it many more games. And I just like watching your brother, like watching anybody have a good game is just fun to do. Question from Tom Green. Seth, what's been the most impressive thing about Tank so far this season, especially coming after off that big game against Arkansas? And just his ability to finish runs. Like, he know, like, he hits the hole and he's going to fight for the extra yards. Like, his yards at the contact. It's impressive, like, just to know he's going to always fight for them yards. You just got to block for him and let him, let him run. Okay. Next is Jordan Hill. Seth, going back to last season, you guys have lost four of the last five when you all played away from home. What is that challenge like, especially when it's going up against SEC teams? Uh, we're not really worried about, like, a world away game or nothing like that. We just take every game as the next game and we're just going to fight like we normally do. Like, we're not worried about the crowd and anything, like the atmosphere of just away games. We just take it as the next game and we approach it. Question from Nathan King. Hey, Seth. Hey, Gus keeps talking about everything kind of circling back to the offensive line and, and y'all wanting to build. Uh, continuity there are you are you in practice you know are you guys just kind of doing your job or are they kind of asking you like hey you know what did you see out of this protection and stuff or are you guys completely separate from that sort of situation I mean we come together as a team at practice well, as a like a unit of offense together at practice when we work on things but that's more of a lineman like we individual I can't tell you what they work on and things like that so I didn't know like, they're going to they gonna get better. It's just, like, it's not, like, it's just time. Time to, like, they're a good group. They just got to mesh together. So I think so. Question from Josh Vitale. So if you guys have gotten down uh, to the red zone pretty well a few times the last few games, but haven't punched in for touchdowns every time, what do you guys have to do as an offense to be better in that area of the field? 
Score the ball. That's all I can tell you. You just got to score the ball and just execute. We have time for a few more. Let's go to Jordan Hill. Seth, what are some of the things you saw out of the offense against Arkansas that you think you guys can kind of build on uh, starting this weekend at South Carolina? Uh, just getting the ball on the perimeter. We got a good perimeter game. We get out in space, let Flash kiss the ball and just run. We got good blocking out there. Me and Shea can hold it down out there for him. Do we have any more questions for Seth? Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Appreciate Thanks, it. Uh, Thanks, Shelly. Appreciate okay. it.